Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Tuesday, April 25th, and it is an S4 day. The SAT word of the day is amenable, meaning cooperative, and today's lunch is a popcorn chicken bowl. Today on the show, we have a story of a beloved businessman from Norwood. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Sam Doucette. And I'm Tim Rose. Seniors, the Athletic Booster Scholarship deadline is tomorrow. Please turn in all applications to Mr. Longley by the end of the day. Also, prom tickets will be on sale until May 5th in Mr. Sweeney's office. Cost is $85 per ticket. The Friendship Club is having their second annual dance Friday the 28th. See Mrs. Kelly in room 274. Tickets are $10. Food, fun, and dancing. Yesterday was Holocaust Remembrance Day. Recently, we did a story on a businessman who survived the Holocaust. Dan Gruber and Audrey Scafati report. Okay. Beloved business owner and Norwood resident Aaron Greenfield turns 91 next month. His children's shop is the go-to place for school uniforms and scout supplies. We are selling also our scout stuff practically statewide. I'm just trying to tell you, we also have right now the white suits. But he hasn't always owned a business in Norwood. In fact, he wasn't even born in the United States. I uh, come from Poland, from a little town, and I hardly graduated because of the war. After the war, with his family gone, Greenfield immigrated to New York City to try to find work. Eventually, he landed in Boston, and then not long after that, to the town of Norwood. That's when he decided to settle down and purchase his store. Basically, we started our store in 1973. And four decades later, the doors are still open. Uh, uh, we have done pretty good because the name Brennis has been here for a long time. And even the, whoever shopped here, their grandmother used to shop here. While he's well past the typical <coughs> retirement age, at 90, Greenfield shows no sign of slowing down. Everybody says, don't retire, we need you here, you know, so that's what goes on all the time because I shopped here before and I don't retire. So that's why I'm still here. So if you're on Washington Street, stop by and visit Brenner's to talk to someone with an amazing story. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Dan Gruber. The next post-prom meeting will be tonight at 7 p.m. in the library. There will also be an open forum for all seniors after school today with Ms. Kaplan to give feedback and ideas for this year's post-prom party. The ESL 3 class is collecting gently used women's, girls, and boys clothing as a fundraiser for the Malala Girls Education Fund. The drop-off box will be located near the main office. Now here's Walter Santiago with your sports update. Yesterday, softball beat Weymouth 11-1, baseball beat Weymouth 3-1, and girls tennis beat Milton 3-2. Today, girls lacrosse has a game at 4 at Weymouth, and boys lacrosse has a game at Weymouth on the turf. Boys baseball has a game against Dedham at the Balch at 345, and softball has a game at 345 at Dedham. Well, that's all, have, that's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. And that's all we have for today. Be sure to check us out on Mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs. Thank you.